you have a total of five options. We're here on one. Let's see if we can do both at the same time. Here's two. And then uh, I'm going to roll over to three. Roll one more over to four. And, uh, and five is a big jump between four and five. Once you hit five, it really starts to run around. We have this uh, garden hose right here. My thought is it's causing less of an eddy or like a whirlpool current in here. It kind of slows it down a little bit. Just putting these two uh, pieces of plywood up here is just kind of a slosh guard. I could always fill uh, more water in here because we're losing a little bit kind of over in this area here. But uh, at Minicota, it's a classic 28. In fact, I think 28 indicates the amount of pounds. They measure it in pounds of thrust, reverse forward. It does have a gauge on here, which is interesting here. It indicates that on this Power 5, which we're on right now, it'll go 2.5 hours. But what's deceiving is it doesn't indicate the size of the battery. Now, this happens to be a, uh, they call it deep cycle uh, battery, uh, which is what they use more commonly in like golf carts and stuff like that. I don't know if this is based on one of those sorts of batteries, which I think is encouraged with this sort of motor, or if it's a... Um, a car battery, which is cold cranking amps. It's my understanding this doesn't have uh, too many cold cranking amps because it's not it's not required that this starts a car. This is for like golf carts, driving like solar panels and such like that. It's made for just a continuous flow. It should last longer than a car battery, which is focused more on cold cranking amps to start the car in the morning when it's cold. It's just continuing to get a couple different angles here for you. Three forty-four. I believe we started at about three fifteen. So here now, about a little over a half an hour, three forty-five into it. It sounds about exactly the same. Now our water levels fluctuated a little bit. I haven't added any more water, but it looks about the same amount of thrust. We'll go down here and look at this. I have noticed. Well, see, it just sounds louder almost. Like there's more thrust. That sounds about the same. We'll have to compare it. Forty-five minutes coming up at 4 o'clock. The only variable here is that the water level is a little less. No, we just started filling the water, but we want to check the water line right there. I, on day two of testing out this uh, Minn Kota, it's still, you know, it, um, it doesn't have the same sound. Uh, I've elevated the water level here for a little bit, so it's less of that kind of like a slurping sound with the eddy, the little whirlpool here. But th this is day two. It still seems to be going... I consider strong. Okay, maybe not as much gusto as it was originally. But we're going to go ahead and shut it down for now. And then maybe just do a few other tests later on. So I'm going to guess almost three hours. Still has plenty of thrust, plenty of kick it looks like. You can see down here and, and here down here. And I, I almost say, uh, no matter the water level in here, it sounds almost about the same as when we first introduced the motor to the uh, tub here. <laughs> Quickly, we, we actually reversed the polarity on the battery. When going forward was actually reverse, going reverse was actually forward. We're going to do that one more time. That was sure interesting. But there's one, okay. Here now again is two. Uh, now we have three. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm definitely seeing at least about the amount of force that it was on five after two hours. Here's four. That's about the same. Then we go to five. That should be 